it worked. I'm back. Hi guys, Dennis from the future here. One of the most magical things in any kind of application is when the search can find exactly what you're looking, even when you're typing something wrong. But what if I told you that you don't need to be a Google engineer to have this kind of functionality in your application? There is an algorithm that is the foundation of many search engines. It is called Levenstein distance. And it is also known as the edit distance and in many APIs, it is referred to as fuzziness. This algorithm allows you to specify how many errors you want to tolerate when you search for a phrase or a word. Technically, Levenstein distance measures the difference between two words. For instance, the distance between the name Felipe and Felipe is one, as you just need to replace the first letter E with I to transform one word into another. The same thing happens with Mateus and Mateus, as you only need to remove one letter to convert the first name into the second. The Levenstein distance allow only three types of operations, insert, remove, and replace. There are other algorithms that also allow changing the order of letters. For instance, star and sar are two positions away using Levenstein distance. But using the, the Meral Levenstein, they will only be one operation away. The last one is an extension of Levenstein that allows transpositions of adjacent characters. And hey, sorry, I know you're recording, but I was listening to you here in the kitchen and that's been the present. Go ahead. Okay, so why don't we use the Demeral instead of the Levenstein? Hmm. That is actually a good question. The problem is that in languages like Spanish or English, we have the average of 5.4 letters per word. And when you allow too many operations in your algorithm, you also end up introducing a lot of noise, which can lead to words being matched that are totally different from what the user searched for. The trick here is to always make two searches, one just with the exact word to ensure that the exact match always appears in the first result, and the other is with fuzziness proportional to the size of the word. For example, if the word has only three letters, you might not allow any errors. If the word has five letters, you leave a fuzziness of one. And if it has eight letters, you can leave a fuzziness of two. Depending on the search engine, it will already make those two searches automatically for you. But the proportional fuzziness is something that you have to implement yourself. One of the key differentiators between a search and a standard SQL query is that in the search, we don't need all results, just the most relevant ones. For instance, how often do you click on a page three or four on Google? Yeah, that's right. So, okay, okay, okay. I, I think I got it, but how do we decide which result is more or less relevant? Well, this is a question that deserves its own video. But in summary, search engines assign a number called a score to each match. This number is calculated using a similarity algorithm that in most cases use TF, IDF, or BM25. The algorithm itself is not something that you need to worry about. What you should remember is that the higher the score, the more relevant is the result. And an exact match will always score higher than an approximated one. This is why as long as you sort your results by score, which is the default behavior, the best result will always come on the top of the list. This video is just the first in a series about search, so stay tuned for that. But even in this short video, you already learned a lot. Notice how you can already look at a piece of code from a search in Solar, Elasticsearch, and Couchbase full text search and understand exactly what's going on. Enough then, you can specify the edit distance or fuzziness of your search. Cool, isn't it? If you like this video, I bet you love those others here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the future. Ciao, ciao.